Stand by, all cameras. You're ready with slow motion and isolated cameras. Stand by, videotape and roll tape. And tape is rolling in less than five, in three, two, one. Take tape. The history of audio in the NFL is a fascinating tale that dates back to the early days of the league. In the beginning, there was no audio technology to speak of, and players and coaches had to rely on hand signals and verbal communication to communicate on the field. As the league grew in popularity, so too did the need for better communication between the players and coaches. This led to the development of the first audio devices in the NFL, which were primitive by today's standards, but were a huge step forward at the time. Just call out your signal loud and clear for reflecting Miller Highlight Beer. One of the earliest examples of audio technology in the NFL was the Huddle Radio, which was introduced in the mid-1950s. This device allowed coaches to communicate with their quarterback through a small radio receiver hidden under the player's jersey. This allowed coaches to call plays and give instructions without having to rely on hand signals and other forms of communication that could be easily intercepted by the opposition. NFL Films also did its first rendition of Mic'd Up in the mid-1950s. Here's a clip. Buddy, come on, boy. You can do it. Paul, let's go. Brown right, watch it draw. Double wing left! Play it! Come on, let's really stick him. He went in! All right, okay. As the years went on, audio technology continued to evolve and improve. In the late 1960s, the NFL introduced the first wireless headsets, which were worn by coaches and allowed them to communicate with players on the field in real time. These headsets were a major breakthrough and revolutionized the way that coaches were able to communicate with their players. Today, audio technology in the NFL is much more advanced than ever before. Teams use a wide range of sophisticated audio equipment, including microphones, speakers, and earpieces that allow coaches and players to communicate quickly and efficiently on the field. This technology has become an integral part of the game and has helped to make the NFL the high-tech and high-speed game that it is today. NFL broadcast mixers also have a very sophisticated job. They mix the audio from the field, which is mic'd up by technicians alongside the field, with the audio from players that is cut on and off between different plays. Uh, it looked like he might have hit his hand on Andrew Norwell's helmet. His left guard shakes it off in second and 15. As well as crowd noise and the announcers and it's all mixed together as if it was a song or symphony happening at one time and the way that it's mixed is actually specific to the technician mixing it some nfl audio technicians say that they can actually tell who the technician is mixing the game just by the levels that are being played when they hear the broadcast on TV. I, I do do a lot of that by feel. I heard, hear the director call a camera cut and I just automatically go to it. Overall, the history of audio in the NFL is a story of constant evolution and improvement. From the early days of hand signals and huddle radios to the sophisticated audio equipment of today, the league has come a long way in terms of communication technology. Just compare a broadcast from the mid-1950s to a broadcast from the modern era in 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Chris Shankle speaking at Municipal Stadium as 40,000 football fans are about set to watch Lou Groza kick from left to right to the defending world champion Detroit Lions. And the fellow that uh, will bring you all the exciting action is ready to step in as we go to our right. Here again is Earl Gillespie. The opening whistle, this championship game is underway. Goes up, boots, it's high and it's end over end. Christensen and Gerard, the deep man. It's Jack Christensen, number one, the five. Cutting to his right now, to the 10, to the 15-yard line. Hit on the 15 and drops down at about the 18-yard line by Chuck Knoll. Looking to reestablish themselves for that final stretch run this season. We are underway here at U.S. Bank Stadium. Flowers will take it out a couple yards deep. 
Finds a seam. How about that? Flowers to the outside, across the 35, and shoved out of bounds just shy of midfield. What a start for Indianapolis coming off that bye week as Greg Joseph, the kicker, finally catches up to him. A 49-yard return. As the game continues to evolve, it's likely that audio technology will play an even more important role in the future of the NFL. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe for more acoustics and sound related topics. Talk to you soon. This ABC Sports Exclusive is brought to you by Marlboro Filter Cigarettes. Come to where the flavor is. Come to Marlboro Country. Oh,